Welcome to a Sunny Side Up Life podcast, a show for the woman who is ready to live an abundant life full of freedom and positivity. I'm Sammy Womack, and I'm on a mission to help you break free from survival mode, gain financial freedom, stay motivated, and focus on what matters most. Join the movement, and let's start living on the brighter side of life together. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to another episode today's episode, I want to talk to you a little bit about fear and how we let our fears hold us back from achieving our dreams, our goals, and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm sitting in my car recording this. Um, I have a couple of minutes to myself and I just wanted to just get some of these thoughts out. As some of you might know, I've been, um, bringing in new coaching clients. I opened up new one-on-one coaching spots recently. And the first step to applying to coaching is to fill out an application. And then if I feel like you're a good fit for the program, I'll send you an email and, you know, prompt you to schedule your call and all that kind of stuff. But the first step is to filling out, is filling out that application. And in the application, I always ask, are there any fears or concerns that you have that I I might need to know about. And it's very interesting to me, there's so many people's answers that overlap, meaning that we all have a lot of the same fears. And so a lot of times when, you know, maybe you're alone, you're thinking about, man, maybe I should start this new goal. Maybe I should you know, follow that Sammy girl and (laughs) sign up for her coaching program, or maybe I should start this new fitness journey, or maybe I should try this new hairstyle or whatever it is. You have those couple, those couple of minutes, days, weeks, years, sometimes where you sit and you contemplate your decision before you pull the trigger, right? In those moments, we feel alone right? We feel isolated in our fear. We feel it's scared. You know, a lot of times we don't know what to expect. Sometimes we come up with a long list of scenarios of how it might go, how we might fail, how we might regret our decision, all these things. We play all this through our head and it feels very isolating. We feel very alone in these thoughts and fears man, I must be the only one who is scared to get their hair cut. I must be the only one who's scared to try that new outfit or (laughs) sign up for this new program. I bet all the other girls who tried this, I bet they weren't as scared as me. We think this. But what reading all these applications have taught me over these past few months since we started doing applications is that we're really not as alone in our fears as we feel like we are. So many answers overlap. I get a lot of answers of, um, I feel like I won't be able to invest the time that this will require. Super common. And this is not just about budgeting. This is about a lot of other goals and habit building and things like this. I don't feel like I'm going to have the time to commit. But honestly, I know it's kind of silly, but Daniel and I say this all the time. Time is actually kind of an illusion. We feel like there's only so many hours in a day. There's only so many days in a lifetime, all these things. But honestly, time is what you make it. And I feel like it's such a man-made restraint that we put on ourselves. And you can make the time. You can make the time for anything that you really want to make time for. Let's, Let's be really honest. Do you maybe not have the mental capacity to take on something else? Do you maybe not have the energy required to take on a new habit, that's a very valid concern. That is actually something where I've had several clients say that. um, And then 
not actually sign up for coaching because they're just not in the right place to mentally take on one more thing. This actually happened with a past client. She signed up, she did the free consultation call, and then she emailed me a couple days later and she was like, I just don't know if I, I just can't take this on. I really want to. You'll probably hear back from me. Sure enough, the following round of coaching is like three months later. She signed up again for another free call and she's like, you know what? The past three months, I got some of my debt consolidated. I signed up for therapy. I've gotten some things in order and I'm ready to take this on. Very valid, very valid. But the thing is, and what I love about how she did this, and she saw great results from coaching because she waited till she was in a right mind space, right head space, right? And what I love about this is she didn't just sit and go, I'm super, super overwhelmed. I guess I can't ever do coaching. She was like, wait, what do I need to do to be able to get to this point that I can do coaching, that I can take on this new goal? And she connected the dots and got herself mentally prepared. Um, Some other fears I hear are, I feel like I'll probably just fail. I, I fail at, I fail at other things. I've failed in the past. I've tried to do this in the past and it hasn't worked out and I failed. Again, valid, very valid. None of these fears I'm going to be like, you're really dumb for fearing that, for being scared of that. No, honestly, all of these fears are very valid. And the point of sharing this is that I've had all these fears too. All of my clients who have went on to actually set up their budget, actually achieve their goals, had all of these fears too in the beginning. You're not alone in your fears. So a lot of people will be like, I feel like I'm just going to fail. Okay. The crazy thing about that and the ironic thing about that is by saying that and giving up and not even trying, what are you doing? You're failing. You're just like, you're, you're failing before you even start because you're not even trying. Me personally, I would rather try and fall, slip up a little bit, mess up, make mistakes, maybe have to start again, than not try at all. Because if you don't try at all, that's guaranteeing that you fail (laughs) before you even start. And I think a lot of that is we fear the embarrassment. We fear like, oh, I'm going to say I'm going to do this and then I'm going to mess up and then I'm going to fall flat on my face and it's going to be super embarrassing. Okay. Again, valid. But one, you really don't have to tell anybody that you're doing it, like unless you have a partner that you share money with, maybe. (laughs) Um, You don't have to make a big declaration on social media like, hey, I'm starting this new budget. And that's just going to ask the microscope to come out and for people to watch you. And for us, we were really far into our budgeting journey before like random people knew, you know, acquaintances knew because we just wanted to kind of figure things out. We kind of wanted to put our head down, hustle, figure it out, work the kinks out until we knew what we were doing. You don't have to tell people what you're doing. Just do it. Put your head down and hustle. It's that simple. The other thing I think of is it's just the fear of the unknown. There's so much unknown that really goes into starting a new chapter of your life, taking on a big journey like this. It's like, who will I be without this struggle? We identify so much with our struggle We identify so much with I'm broke or, you know, I'm poor or this is how I grew up. This is my family. This is my friends. This is, this is where I belong. This is where I identify. We want to belong. Human nature is to belong. Human nature is to be in community. You know, you've ever seen like cult followings and you're like, how did people get sucked into this? Because they wanted to belong to something. They wanted to be a part of something. It's human nature. And so we feel like if we 
break out of this box that we've been in, we're no longer going to belong in our current life. And that's very scary. And again, a valid fear. But I want you to know that it's a stage of evolution and growth. And like, we have to continue to grow. If you're not growing, you're dying. Think of yourself like a tree. If a tree was to ever stop growing, it would be dead. Like, there's not an in-between. You're growing or you're dead. Like, that's it. And so, if you're stagnant in your current life, it's more or less a death sentence. Like, you've got to grow. And it's not becoming a new person, which I think is really scary. It's not becoming a new person and completely shedding your old self. It's becoming a better version of yourself. You don't have to become a new person. You have to become who you were born to be, the best version of yourself possible. And that version of yourself is going to continue to grow. You Just like a tree, you should continue to grow and bloom and, you know, go through periods of, you know, like a winter, spring, summer, like it's okay to go through seasons, of course. But even though a tree is in winter and might be bare and, you know, look like it's all dried up, it's not. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's resting. That's okay. That's okay because we're, hey, we're all a fan of seasons of rest here. But it's still growing. It's still doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. So I hope that that kind of helps those of you who are having a few fears. Of course, I've heard more fears, but I think those are kind of the most common. And and not even just with budgeting, just with anything that you're going about in your life. It might be your job. It might be your family life. It might be a hobby. It might be something silly like you're trying out a new hairstyle. Seriously, that kind of stuff is still life altering. <laughs> it can still affect your life and that's okay. Don't under, don't underrate that at all. Okay. And remember that it's super valid to have fears, but we're not going to stay in our little box that we've put ourselves in or others have put us in or society has put us in. We're going to break past that. We're going to continue to grow. And you know, when I get really scared, the biggest thing, the biggest thing that helps me is I think, do you know how big the universe is? Do you know how vast the universe is? Not only is the planet that we live on a mere speck in the entire universe, we're only a speck on this tiny little earth. And not to say that we're nothing. Oh, we're just a little, we're just a little blimp (laughs) in the universe. No, but there's so many things going on in the universe and the world. Don't let your fear hold you back. Who cares if you embarrass yourself? Who cares? At the end of your life, is it really going to matter that you embarrassed yourself a little bit? No, it's going to matter that you live life to its fullest potential, that you lived your best life, that you showed up as the best possible version of yourself, and that you chased every single goal and dream that you ever had in your heart. Because in 200 years, is it really going to matter if you embarrassed yourself a little bit, if you tried something new and possibly failed? No. But At the end of your life, is it going to matter if you stayed scared? That's probably going to matter. That's probably going to matter. So maybe that will help you wherever you are in your journey. I just wanted to share those couple of thoughts and encourage you to push past your fears and show up every day as the best version of yourself and continue to grow no matter where you are no matter what season you're in, no matter what stage of life you're in and just continue to show up as the best version of yourself. All right. That is all for me today. I will talk to you guys next week. Bye guys.
Thanks for hanging out for another episode of a Sunny Side Up Life podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend because you never know who needs to hear this message. If you haven't already, please leave a review and subscribe. Reviews and subscribers are what help the podcast grow and what help new ladies find our community. And again, thanks for hitting play on this episode and for investing some time in yourself today. Remember that I'm always here to support you and I'm always cheering you on along the way. Don't forget that everything that we mentioned in this episode will be linked in the show notes. All right, that's all for me this week. Bye, guys.